Hello everyone, today we are bringing you the much anticipated Q removal video for the Cadillac ELR. This is the easy method and should be about 20 minutes tops. It's a pretty simple job, far less involved than the factory service manual, which has you pulling out the back seats and other unnecessary things. Special thanks to Brian Brown for documenting this uh, updated easy method and sending over the video and instructions. We really appreciate it. The first step in this process is to remove the instrument panel cover or the dash cap. This is just a one piece, large plastic molded piece that has a bunch of spring clips on the bottom. You basically use your trim tool and pry up on those until it releases and disengages. It pulls straight up and it will come off easily like you see there, uh, leaving the top exposed. Next we're going to want to remove the air conditioning bezel. This is just a snap fit, pull straight back on it, use your trim tool where it inserts that to avoid breaking anything, pull straight back and it will uh, disengage. Next up we'll remove the chrome Q bezel. This is just snap, uh, snap clips, pull back on that and it will remove easily. Now you can open the lower compartment door and remove that plastic trim piece, it pulls straight back, no bolts, just grab a hold of it and pull it straight back like in this photo. Now you can use your 7mm socket to remove the side trim bolts. There are three of them, two on the bottom and one on the side. With the bolts removed, the side trim pieces are now free to be uh, pulled back. Start with the left side, disengage that spring clip, pull it straight back and over and it will, uh, it will free up the right side as you can see there. The main goal is to free up the right side and kind of wedge something in, in the right so you have access to that upper air conditioning vent bolt. Uh, it's sort of hidden underneath that panel so you need to wedge up so you can access it with, uh, with your socket. There you can see both bolts. Remove the two 7mm bolts that hold those vents in and you can disengage the snaps, pull it upwards, disconnect that harness and set the vent aside. Now with the vent out of the way, you have full access to the six bolts that hold in the Q module. Seven millimeter socket, you can go ahead and remove those. With the six bolts removed, the Q module can come straight back out of the dash. Be careful with it, try not to scratch anything up. This video shows how to disengage the connectors if there's ever any uh, question about it. They basically um, push clips like that. On the bottom one you may have to use a um, little pliers like that on one side and then on the bottom so you can disengage that latch. Alright, here's a note for reassembly. Use a plastic trim tool in this location to kind of wedge between the wood grain and the suede piece to allow clearance for it to slip back into place. The next reassembly tip is for the instrument panel cover or the dash cap. You'll want to lift up on the front metal grill piece here, just pop those clips up with your trim tool and that will allow some clearance for the lip, for the front lip of the dash cap to slide under it and uh, fit securely as you can see. Alright at this point, your Q module should be out of the vehicle and you can proceed with step 2, which is opening the unit up and swapping out the defective factory screen for the upgraded Q screens version. The video for that procedure is in the description below. If you need to order a screen, you can check out QScreens.com and use promo code YT5 for our YouTube subscribers. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions on how to improve, feel free to leave a comment below.